Can we build a parabolic sound reflector? We built a parabolic sound reflector that reflects energy, in this case, sound. Building the parabolic sound reflector. To begin, we had to come up with the equation of a parabola. In this case, we used 1 over 60 x squared. From this equation, we obtain a table of values and graph it on thick cardboard. Once we had the graph parabola, we cut out four exact pieces of cardboard with that shape. We put them together forming a skeleton so that we could build our parabola. Using our skeleton, we built a parabola made of much thinner cardboard, which was cut into triangles, all of which were congruent. Then we calculated the focal point of the parabola using the formula x squared over 4a, in which x is the radius in centimeters and a is the depth of the parabola in centimeters. Using a screwdriver as handle, we placed a microphone in the exact focal point, which was at 12 centimeters from the vertex. Collecting data. We connected the microphone to the computer and using Audacity, we recorded a sound with a frequency of 770 hertz. In a straight line, we place a parabolic sound reflector and the sound device away from each other at... 5 meters... 10 meters... and 15 meters. Recording the same sound in each trial. Repeating the same procedure, we recorded our control group without using the parabolic sound reflector. Data analysis. With the parabolic sound reflector, at five meters there was a recording of negative 41 decibels. At 10 meters, there was a recording of 47.1 decibels. And at 15 meters, there was a recording of negative 58.4 decibels. Now, for our control group, without using the parabolic sound reflector, there was a recording of negative 42.5 decibels at a distance of 5 meters negative 45.1 at a distance of 10 meters and negative 42 decibels at a distance of 15 meters. As we can see on the graph, the values for the amplitude of the control group, the green dots, are nearly constant. They're in a linear position which shows a discrepancy since we all know that the further away we are from the source of sound, the less we can hear from it. Thus, it was clear that there was a problem. We proceeded to check the microphone. We took it and recorded in silence. Then, analyzed in audacity and saw that it had recorded a 60 Hz frequency that came from the microphone itself. We can also say that only three points in the graph don't offer enough information to draw a conclusion of whether the parabolic sound reflector works to any extent. So, we leave this experiment inconclusive to be further tested with a better microphone. <laughs>